What's going on everybody? My name is Jeans, bringing you guys a brand new playthrough on the channel for Pokemon Sword. Guys, let's get this playthrough started off strong. Do me a favor, smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. But let's hop right into this game. I've been so excited for it. We're going to talk to this Munchlack right off the bat. See what he has to do. He just awakens up and everything. But guys, dude, Pokemon Sword and Shield is finally here. I am hype. We're starting off this game. We got to go get our bag and meet our boy Hop, which is our rival kind of guy at his house. Okay, so we're grabbing our dad's old bag because we had to meet him because the champion... Leon is actually going to be over there, which is Hop's brother, and we're going to go talk to him, and he has some gifts for us and all that good stuff, but look at this game. It is absolutely gorgeous, guys. I'm in love with it already. So here's all of our adventure, guys. We can open the X menu by pressing the X button. Obviously, we could save from there, and there's the town map and all that good stuff there, but look at this, guys. We got ourselves a Nintendo Switch. <laughs> all right, see you, Mom. I'm out of here. Time to go be a Pokemon trainer, but look at this loading screen, guys. It's so cool. It shows, like, the map and everything, and I heard this map is absolutely huge i cannot wait to get started and go head off into the wild areas and all that good stuff but look at us we're making our way outside of our house and there's our boy hop right there with that new pokemon wudu that is awesome that is so cool guys let's go see what hop has to say and all that stuff ha ha, ha. have a look at you jeans that old bag looks like it could pull you over at least we know that it should hold anything lee might bring even if it's a bag as a snorlax <laughs> But guys, I'm not going to be reading everything in this game. I'm just going to be reading, like, main parts and stuff. So we're just going to be reading a little bit. Hey, Wooloo, but what's it doing there? Okay, it's just banging his head against the fence. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Hey, you silly Wooloo. I see what you're up to. Don't go using tackle on that fencing. Now you listen. No going past that fence. No! Everyone knows that there's scary Pokemon living in the slumbering wheel. Meh. <laughs> It is a little bad. Okay, so over there is a slumbering wield and all that. And that's where supposedly scary Pokemon live. And that is off limits. So we will not be going there. Right now, we actually have to make our way towards Hop's house. And get ready to go see the champion, his brother Leon. So, because he has a gift for us. But let's get moving along here. Head down to his house. But oh my lord. Oh my lord. Look at this game. Look at this game. It is absolutely stunning already. But we're going to make our way into Hop's house. Go talk to his mom and all that stuff. And see what Lee has to say. Let's go, buddy. What we got to do? Just gonna keep talking. You know, there's tons of talking in Pokemon games. So, like I said, I'm not gonna be wasting my time talking to all this and, and stuff. But right now, Hop's just talking about how we're gonna go visit L his brother Leon, who is the champion of the Pokemon League. He runs everything. He has a Giga Max Charizard and all that good stuff. So we gotta get out of there. Go talk to him. He's got herself a gift, like I've been saying. But let's hit the Bounce Boogie and Skididdle. But guys, let me know in the comment section down below. You team score bunny, team Grookey, or team Sabo? Let me know what starter you're going to choose. But let's go. Here we go. Let's get a move on. Only remember, Jeans, wild Pokemon could come out of nowhere if you walk through patches of tall grass. I've got my Wooloo with me, so I'm ready for battles against wild Pokemon, of course. But not you, Jeans, so we'll steer clear of tall grass as we go. You got it, man. You got it. It's so bogus, man. It's so bogus. Just give me my starter. And let me fight these Pokemon in the grass. So we just have to go through this straight path right here instead of going left, which is annoying. Bruh, Hop's like standing there, like not when you go there. <laughs> I'm not sure if, if you can go in there without a Pokemon. I wonder what happens. But we're going to make our way into the town right here. We got Wedgehurst right here. This is the first town in the game right here. It's a little starting town. Got a Pokemon Center and all that good stuff. We're going to make our way over to this cutscene where we're going to meet Leon, the Pokemon champion. Look at our boy. Woo! Got a little pose going. Yeah, but, like, he's beloved in this town and everything. Like, everyone loves the Pokemon champion and all that. But, guys, doesn't the Charizard look rather small? Wouldn't you think it's bigger? Hello, hello, Wedgehurst. Your champion Leon is back. I promise I'll keep doing my best to deliver the greatest battles for you all to watch. It's our unbeatable champion, Leon. You and your Charizard are the greatest. Well, thank you for that. I hope you'll, you'll all carry on training up your Pokemon and never be shy for a battle. Then come challenge me for the champion title. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. So he's just saying there. He, he's actually a very humble trainer and all that. As the champion and all that. He wants other people to train and all that. And then verse him up and all that. But right here, he's just talking about bibbidi bobbidi booby stuff. You know, Pokemon stuff. Just lots of talking. <laughs> but my boy Charizard, we should just catch that thing and just own the battle right here. And look at this. Leon knows this. His brother here is here and all that. And he's eventually going to take us back and give us our gift, dude. I wonder what it is. Ooh, 
baby. Oh, baby, guys. Yo, let's get it, yo. I hope all you guys are hyped for this playthrough and all that. Make sure you smash that like button. Get this playthrough off to a great start. I've been ready for this game. I think, dude, I pre-ordered this month, months ago. <laughs> it's crazy. The only thing that sinks is you guys can hear it in my voice. I still have a little, like, throat problem right now. So my voice is all raspy and all that good stuff. Right here, we're just going to mash away this A button right here. Get rid of all this talking. <laughs> Dude, Pokemon is known for that. Just constantly, constant talking and all that. <laughs> to the point where you just mash an A. But look at this. We are now back at Hop's house. Come on, Lee. You promised us a present. So out with it. You brought jeans and me Pokemon. You did, didn't you? I know you must have. Right then, the greatest gift from the greatest champion. It's showtime, everyone. Oh, no. We're getting our gifts, baby. What are they? What's our gifts? Take a good look, you two. Oh, yeah. The boys. The grass-type Pokemon, Grookey. The fire-type Pokemon, Score Bunny. And the water-type Pokemon, Sobble. Woo! The boys are here. Let's get it. Let's get it, guys. Oh, my God. They look phenomenal. They look phenomenal. Look at them all. Score Bunny's running around. Sobble's in the water. Grookey's up in a tree with a pear. A berry <laughs> hitting it with his stick. Oh, look at my boy Sobble. Oh, smoke the boy. Smoke them. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Yo, he's crying. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. That is funny, guys. But still, let me know in the comment section down below what starter you guys are picking. All right, line up, everyone. Let's go. Look at the boys. Which will you choose? Oh, yeah. Here we go. Okay, guys, let's get rolling here. We're going to pick our starter right here. If you've been watching my live streams, link will be in the description below. You will know who I am picking. Go on, you pick first. I already got my Wooloo after all. After all. Okay, guys, the final decision is we are Team Grookey, baby. We're going Team Grookey. Come here, boy. Look at this guy. The grass-type Pokemon Grookey, eh? It's soothing like a nice long walk in the woods. The grass-type Pokemon Grookey, is it? Yes, dude, we want this boy. Get over here. You chose Grookey. Yeah. <laughs> no, I would not like to give Grookey a nickname. His name is perfectly fine. Oh, yeah, dude. Give me a high five off the bat, dude. Look at him. Yo, dude, this guy is sick. So, it'll be Grookey for you. Nice one. Then I'll go with Sobble. You're mine. Oh, score bunnies. Sit in the bench this time. I'm aiming to be the next champion, so be ready. You and I'll be doing some serious training. Dude, Score Bunny's riding the pine, dude. He's sitting the bench this time around. Let's go, let's go. From what a lot of people saw, uh, or what I've seen, a lot of people are picking Score Bunny and all that. But he's sitting the pine in my playthrough. <laughs> That's so sad. They should have added a third rival, rival that takes that. But I don't understand why the rivals don't take the opposite uh, elemental damage for you. Like, he should have took Score Bunny like in the normal games. Because that usually, like, threats the challenge later on when you're battling your rival and all that. Down the road because you usually have the element advantage and all that or disadvantage but look at this we're barbecuing with our stars yo look at Grookey look at Grookey man <laughs> my boy Grookey dude I cannot wait to battle with him and all that get into this game catch a few other Pokemon I already have a few Pokemon playing that I want on my team I will not say it now you, mo you guys might actually see one on my team in a little bit maybe two we'll see we'll see but here we go Starting off our first battle with our rival. Would you consider them a rival in this game? I don't think they're our rivals, but with our opposite guy, I guess. But we're going to be hopping into our first battle with him. He has a Wooloo and his Sobble that is chose against our solo Grookey boy. But let's get into this and hop into our first battle for this game. Looks like everyone's on board. Pokemon and trainers like. Then let's do this. I've watched every match that Lee ever had. I've read every book and magazine he left behind at home, too. I know exactly what to do in order to win. Yeah, right, dude. We're gonna smack on you. We're gonna smack on you, fool. You were challenged by Pokemon Trainer Hot. Woo! Oh! Pokemon. Oh, he's sending out Wooloo right off the bat. Dude, Wooloo is a sick Pokemon. He is sick. But we got our boy, Grookey. And look at this battle. Guys, look at the graphics in this battle. Like, we've never seen a battle like this. Oh, my lord. It looks awesome. We're going to start off by fighting. We got Scratch and Growl. We're just going to go right off the bat. Give him the quick claws. Get him, group. <laughs> Slapped. Slapped him. Oh, he's going to tackle us. He's going to tackle us. What do you mean? 
Oh, guys, I heard that you cannot get uh, shiny starters. There's shiny lock. Like, you used to be able to soft reset the game and keep resetting it until you get the shiny. But I heard you can't do that in this game, which is pretty crazy. But I cannot wait to shiny hunt and all that good stuff. Do online battles in the post game. Oh, my God. That a boy, Grookey. That a boy. Yo, taking out that Wooloo. Getting some XP. How much we get? Nice little 55 bump. Ooh, already leveled up. Let's go. And we learned Branch Poke. We got, yo, dude, that's like a Grookey move only. Branch Poke? Let's go. His first move we learned. Now we're going up against a Sobble, and we have a Grass-type move. Branch Poke. I'm guessing it's Grass. Yeah, it is. Let's Branch Poke him up. Let's see it. Get him, you baby. <laughs> Merc. Merc the boy. <laughs> Did you already know about type advantages? Yeah, I already know. Dude, I've been had playing Pokemons. <laughs> Well, let's go. Let's finish off this battle. Give him another branch poke. <laughs> Dead. Merc the boy. Battle was too easy. My Grookey's OP. We're going to be running him up against the champion right now. <laughs> let's go get some more experience. Did we level up again? Oh, already level 7. Jeez. Jesus. Let's go. You beat my two Pokemon with your one. You and your Grookey are too much. I know. I know. Dude, he gave us 400 bones for winning. <laughs> Let's go. Well, that was a shock. Guess I now know why Lee thought he should give you a Pokemon, too. Oh, yeah, dude. You guys know that. We are here to go to the Pokemon League and beat this guy right here. He's done. He's done for right here. Let's go, guys. After we defeat it, our boy Hop right here. We're going to get moving on. We're going to go collect our Pokedex. That is what we're on the way to do. Jeans, did you hear that just now? Oh, no. What happened? What happened? We were supposed to go to town in order... To go get our Pokedex, but the Wooloo broke the gate open. Are you kidding me? It was tackling that fence pretty hard earlier. You don't think it actually broke through? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it broke through. <laughs> if it's open and he was there hitting it with his head, I'm pretty sure he broke it through. <laughs> but now, what Hop wants to do is we have to go inside the woods right here and actually save that Wooloo, which is probably a bad idea. But let's hop into it and get going in there. Come on, let's go, Hop. I'm ready to go. We're going in it. What's it called? The slumbering wheel? Yeah, we made it into the slumbering wheel right here. Look at it. It's all foggy and everything. But this is our first place right off the bat. We're going to go see what this is about. But we were supposed to actually head back to the town and all that in order to get our Pokedex. But that's on hold now. We got to save this Wooloo. The fog is really coming on thick now. If we don't find that Pokemon soon, this might be trouble. Ooh. Oh, baby. But let's go. Now that we have our Pokemon, we can actually run through the grass and see different Pokemon. Like, look. Look at this. We walk right here. We got an encounter right here. And look at this guy. We got a new Pokemon. It is a Squovit. It's a little squirrel Pokemon. It's kind of like the Bidoof of this region. He's aight. <laughs> we're going to fight him up. We're going to hit him with a scratch because kind of seems like he could be grass, but he might just be normal. But we're going to scratch him up. How much does that do? All right, we're going to see if Branch Poke could just Merc on him and finish him off. Yo, you tailing him up, boy? Dude, are you kidding me? Dude, Grookey looks phenomenal, dude. I love him so much. I love him so, so much. And guys, also, let me know if you guys like the starter evolutions, too. Because I think they're solid. I think they're growing on me now. I didn't really like them too much at first. But I think they're growing on me. But there we go. We're going to rack up a little bit of experience here. And we're going to be catching a lot of Pokemon in this playthrough. Just giving you guys a heads up. Let's keep moving along the slumbering wheel right here. And see what we got going on. Any other Pokemon just showing here? What we got here? What's this boy? What we got? <gasps> boy, it's a Rookity. I want one of these. They evolve into a Corviknight. I want one of these on my team. But we don't have any Pokeballs right near. Or around but we're gonna fight right here we're gonna hit him with that branch poke you i love branch poke he just pulls that stick he's like you <laughs> give him a quick stab it's not very effective get out of my face bro you gonna peck me dog you gonna peck me that's super effective too get out of my face little boy scratch you up get out of here and i cannot wait to actually see the uh the wild area too that looks phenomenal i saw videos and pictures of it oh my lord it looks crazy Get scratched up, boy. Get scratched up. I'm wondering if all the starters evolve at the normal level, 16 and 36. They probably do. That's usually what happens. They threw us a curveball with a uh, Turtwig and Diamond. And probably he evolved at 18, I believe. Was that what it was? I think it was. It was some grass type, but we're going to keep walking through the slumber and wheel and all that. But we actually have two different types of encounters now. We can actually see the Pokemon like in Let's Go, and we got hit in once. Did you hear that? Was that Pokemon crying out, you think? Oh, uh, yeah, dude. Let's go get it. Let's go give him the quick whoopings. We got another encounter right here. But I think these are set encounters. I believe once you just start making your way through here, these are all set encounters. These are not, like, random generated. But we got to whoop on this Scovid again. 
Let's give it to it. Let's give it to him. Branch poke. Yeah. <laughs> Slap. There we go. Perfect. Brings him down to half health. We can just branch poke him up again and finish him off. But, dude, branch poke, you get 40 of these. It's a poop ton, man. Let's go. Yeah. Dead. Murked. Dude, let's get it. I want Pokeballs because, like, when we enter, like, new routes and stuff, I'm going to be catching, like, all the new Pokemon. I'll show it to you guys. It'll be awesome. Be all clean. Clean looking. But let's go. Let's make our way into the slumbering wheeled fog over here and see what happened. We got this Pokemon crying out all here. Come on, Jeans. That Wooloo might be in real trouble. I've been going. You keep stopping me to talk, Hop. I don't see your problem. And then he runs off into the fog like, like some scary Halloween movie. <laughs> here we go. We're going to make our way into the fog right here and see what's going on over here. What is all this noise and commotion about? This is mad. I can't even see my own hand in front of my face. I think I get now why this place is off limits. Yeah, just about. <laughs> we went in here to save a Wooloo. Wooloos can fend for themselves. <laughs> but this fog is thick. Super thick. It's our boy. It's Zacian. He's the legendary for sword. We get to see him already? Bruh. It says question mark appeared. Oh, oh my lord. What is this? We've, we're gonna fight him. <laughs> what is this? We're gonna branch poke him up. Huh? Move has no effect. The mysterious Pokemon gaze is fixed on you. What? The move had no effect on it. Dude, why is it like a... Kind of like a ghost. Like, it's transparent. You can't hit it. Oh, dude, I thought he was gonna murk us. He's growled and put out some more fog. That's crazy. I thought he was just gonna be like, pick up Grookey and his mouth slam around. <laughs> Let's go. We're gonna keep fighting here and seeing what this does. Uh, give him a quick another branch poke. What do you mean? Yo, we shoot out more fog. Yo, we can't see. It's just a white screen. Are you kidding me? I can't see anything. What is this? Wah! What happened? Did he kill Hop? <laughs> she imagine just eating him. <laughs> That's hilarious. But now we like wake up here, I guess. Without Zacian? A little confused here, boys. What is this? Look at what are we on the ground for? Guess we couldn't see him. We just got murked on or something. Hop, jeans. Oh, our boy Leon's here to save the day. The champ. So he's just gonna talk to us. Ask us why is why are we out here? Yeah, I'm wondering the same thing. Why are we out here? We should have just went and get the Pokedex to get into this. And our boy Charizard over here saved the Wooloo. See, we should. I told you, we should just let Leon do this work. We could have went and got our Pokedex, chain, trained up our Grookey, catch a few Pokemon, and all that. You guys know the deal. But dude, it's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous, guys, dude. Always. The Pokemon games are always slow in the beginning, which are a pain. They are a pain, but they do develop the story and all that good stuff. If you guys are enjoying the story and all that. But I don't really, I don't really play Pokemon games for the stories. You guys know why I play. I play to collect and all that battle out and all that. That's why I just want to get into the good stuff for you guys to show it all to you right here. But let's go. We're actually going to start heading back now towards the way that we want to go, which was down to that purple building over there in order to get, what's it called? In order to get our Pokedex. Let's go. Oh, we have to tell our mom we're heading the wedge first. Dang it. Okay, we're heading back. We got this. We got this. Let's go. You know what's cool about this game? There's no more running shoes and all that. We actually just run pretty fast. We actually have a nice little trot going. We can speed up right here. But we actually have to go tell our mom that we're heading out to go be a champion Pokemon trainer. Let's go. What's up, mom? How you doing? <laughs> Yo, and Grookey's out. Well, now, isn't Grookey just a sweetheart? Yeah, dude. He's my boy. I'm glad someone bothered to tell you to tell me. Off to Wedgehurst, aren't you? Yeah, that's where we're going. What you got for us? Here we go. A bit of pocket money for your journey. Ooh! Giving us that pocket money, yo. We're gonna be using that. Come on, Grookey. Dude, Grookey's adorable. All the starters look phenomenal, dude. I love them so much. Let's go. Let's hit that bouncing boogie and get going to Wedgehurst, which is the next town over in order to go get our Pokedex. Come on. Come on, yo. Look at the Wooloos and the Butterfreeze over here just chilling. This game is beautiful. Right now, my top game is Pokemon and Diamond and Pearl, so I'm hoping this game can top it, become the top Pokemon game, but we make our way to Route 1. Here we go. This is quite a big step, you know. My first step towards becoming the next Pokemon champion. Guess I'll probably chain up Sobble a bit by having it battle against Pokemon in Tall Grass. 
Yeah, we're gonna be doing that with Grookey and all that. We're gonna be whooping. But yes, that purple building over there is actually the building that we want to head to in order to get, what's it called? Our Pokedex. But we're gonna head right over here right off the bat. Look at our boys Rookadies, yo. We got our boy Rookadies just chilling out here. Let's give him a quick battle. And get whooping and gain some experience and all that. Encounter wild Rookadie. Bam, ba -dam, ba -dam, ba -dam. Oh, that's what unnerved. Can we do we have Pokeballs? We have five Pokeballs. We can actually catch a Rookie if we would like to. But we're just gonna actually destroy him up, get the XP, and catch a different one. Oh yeah, here we go, guys. We actually have a couple of Pokeballs right here, which is pretty cool and all that. Which I actually like. But the cool thing about... Oh, we marked him down to half health already. We actually have five Pokeballs right now. So we're going to catch these Pokemon on these roots real quick. But the cool thing about these fighting mechanics is it shows you what moves are effective. Super effective, non-effective now. Instead of just knowing your stuff. So they make it easier for battles and all that. But we're bringing this Swobit down the red. We're going to catch our first Pokemon right here. In order to have it in our Pokedex, we're going to catch this in the Rookity. And any other Pokemon on this route right here. But we're actually low on health right now. We're sitting at 12. Do we have, it? Do we have any potions? I don't know, but here we go. Let's get this Pokeball out. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> there we go. Catching that squirrel. We're going to have it in the Pokedex. We're going to catch that Rookity next, which is just awesome. Oh, and we leveled up. And Grookey learned Taunt. Let's get it, Grooks. Where's our boy? Here's our boy. Let's get this Rookity. Come on. What we got? We got a Rookity right here chilling. I want him on my team. I want a Rookity on my team. He has unnerved, which means we can't uh, eat berries with him. We're going to whoop on this uh, Rookity right here. Then we're going to catch him real quick. We're going to hit him with that scratch because it is our only move that is normal. It's not, not very effective. Oh, that's a tough one. I don't think I can hit him again. I think if we hit him again, he's going to die. Right? So we're just going to go straight for this uh, Pokeball right here. Come on, Rookity. I want you on my team, dog. Come on. Come on. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, let's head out, out over here, see if there's any other Pokemon right here. But I think it's just a Squovit and this Rookity right here. Let's see, let's see. Oh, Pokeball's showing here. Let's see what we got here. We got two Paralyzed Seals. Did I pick up the Pokeball over there? Hold the phone. Hold the phone. I thought I saw one over here. I guess. Oh, a Wooloo! A Wooloo! <laughs> Good thing we actually came back. We're gonna catch him. Let's go. Get out there, Grooks. Do we have a potion? We're kind of low on health right here. Uh, we're at 14. That's not too bad. We're going to hit him with that branch poke. Get over here, Wulu. Stab. How much is going to bring him down there? Okay, we can hit him again and then give him the catch. Yo, what do you mean? Hit me with that growl. Get out my face. Get out my face. Yo, hit him with that branch poke again. But we're... What are we down to? Three Pokeballs now? I believe we get more Pokeballs later. On on When we get on to the bigger roots and all that. Should I scratch him up? Should I scratch this boy up? Now we're going to go straight for the Pokeball right here. Try to give him... This quick catch right here. But yeah, we, in this game, we're going to be filling up our Pokedex. I don't think in this playthrough we're going to be doing that. We're just going to be beating the main game and all that, the champion. And then um, in the post game, I'm going to be streaming that. So link will be in the description below. You can follow me over there. We're going to be catching all the Pokemon, doing some shiny hunting and all that. Oh, and our boy Rookity. I don't care about you, Squobit. I don't really care about you. He's just chilling there, gaining some XP right now. Bum, 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 bum. All right, let's hit the bounce boogie. Let's get out of here. We're going to head down to the uh, Pokemon Center real quick. See if we have any battles over here. Now we chilling, we chilling. We're just going to keep running around here and going towards that purple building and getting ourselves our Pokedex in Wedgehurst right here. So let's get over there. Give me my Pokedex, baby. I want it. But we f Oh, we got Leon chilling here. I was going to go grab something. Well done. You reached the goal and managed to find your way to the Pokemon Research Lab. Obviously, it's not that hard. It's a giant purple building right across the street from my house. <laughs> Oh, dude, that Charizard. But he's telling us to go in there and go grab ourselves the Pokedex. He's actually going to bring us in there. Let's go. We actually have to talk to a new character here, which is going to be awesome. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. We actually talking to Sonya right here. She gives us the Rotom phone and all that, and she's going to give us that Pokedex along with it. Yeah, we're all about that Pokemon. Let's go. Here we go. We obtained the Pokedex. There are actually 400 Pokemon, I believe, in this game. Maybe a little bit more. The one thing I do hope they do do is actually... I said do-do, didn't I? <laughs> But still, what I'm hoping is they actually add legendaries and all that. Hey there, trainer. Sorry to stop you. He's just going to give us some items and all that. But I'm hoping they add extra legendaries. Because right now, I only saw in the leak Pokedex and all that. There was only like three. The two main ones in this game and all that. And then the extra legendary. But you, that's what they did in Pokemon Sword and Sh or Sun and Moon. Didn't they add a ton of them? 
But here we go, guys. We're going to keep moving along here. Go over here and actually grab ourselves this Pokeball right here. Oh, a rare candy right off the bat. But there are actually all different types of candies in here. There's XP candy now, so you can level up your Pokemon that way and all that good stuff. But we're actually going to make our way up here towards the next route right over here. Here's our boy Hop. He's probably going to tell us where to go and all that. Got your Pokedex from Sonya. Then it's time for us to meet lots of different Pokemon and start building a strong team. Yo, you know we're going to head up towards this route over here and up to the next building. Dude, I already know what these things do. I already know. I am a Pokemon legend champion of all seven other gens right here. <laughs> but he's going to come in here, show us a tutorial on how to do all this. After talking to Hop and all that, he actually teaches us all about all this stuff over here. And what, what is cool is we have these three different buildings now. So you, we got your obviously healing center. We got our Pokemart right here. But over here, you can actually learn your own moves or remove moves and all that. So it's cool. And it's totally free. So you don't need like those scales and anything anymore to in order to do that. It's just free. You just go up and do it. But we heading over to the Poke Shop. Dude, how did our mom drop 30k on us? Just gave us... 30,000 Poke Dollars for nothing. Like, oh, here you go, kid. <laughs> Take them up. But we're going to be buying some other things to help us out on our journey. And later, these are actually always good things to actually start off with. I just buy antidotes, paralyzed heals. Is that all that all is in the shop? Yeah, and I buy some potions. That's what's up. We're going to buy all these for later uses. But I actually put Squovit and Wulu away in my Poke Box right here. Which actually, I believe later in the game, you can actually enter that at any time. You don't have to be in a Poke Center anymore. But over here, we got the, like a different mart, and we got our, the clothes changing area. I don't really feel like changing my clothes. I feel like getting into this action and all that. But we got my boy Hop over here, and he's talking about the gym challenge and all that. But what, what was I talking about? Oh, I put um, the Pokemon away in the Poke Boxes, so we don't have to worry about them. Only the ones that I'm going to be using. So we got my boy Rookie D in here, and my boy Grookey in my party right now. We got Grookey level 8 and Rookie D level 3. But it's awesome. We got an XP share and all that. It's like built into the game now, but we got these little sparkles over here. If you see sparkles on rocks, go up and talk to them. We got ourselves a nice little revive here to come along with us in our journey. We're actually going to make it our way down towards Route 2 right here. Right here, we're going over to Route 2, and our boy Hop's still here bothering us. We just want to get in on onto the game, but of course, Leon walks it over here, and he's actually going to teach us how to catch Pokemon, which we already know how to do. Oh yeah, boys! So Leon taught us how to do all that good stuff, and he gave us 20 Pokeballs. So we're gonna go catch all these Pokemon on this route, and there's actually trainers we had to battle and all that. But this is the Pokemon that Sonya had. It's Yamper. He's an electric type. We're gonna go catch him up real quick. Of course, we somehow got paralyzed on our first move right here. Like, is, this is just ridiculous. Good thing I bought all those paralyzed heals and all that. We can actually make our way up this route and all this. This is actually a level 6 Pokemon. They really upped the Annie here right here. But hopefully we can level up our Rookity and our Grookey. Boom, there we go. First Pokemon caught on this route right here. Let's get it. There we go. Healed up our Grookey right here. And now we're chilling. We're going to keep making our route. See if we see any new Pokemon and all that. We're chilling. We're chilling. We're just going to keep making our way down this route. And we got our first legitimate trainer battle. Besides with just hopping all that. We got a trainer just chilling here. We're just going to walk up. He's going to give us that exclamation point. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Let's go. Our first Pokemon trainer battle. We're going to step up with our Grookey. Getting a whooping. Boy, look at this scene right here. Look at this scene. We're versus youngster Jake out here <laughs> with a Squovit, dude. We're going to give it a quick clap and real quick. Oh, we got? We're going to scratch up. Now, we can branch poke this thing. Get out my face, dude. We're just in it for the attack right now. We don't really have any good moves to actually like, set up anything. It's just normal Pokemon. We're just going to get the attacks, the scratches, and all that. But, dude, these graphics are phenomenal. They're absolutely phenomenal. Like, Nintendo really stepped it up with this game, and I cannot wait to see the full game. Like, I feel like it's going to be my favorite Pokemon game of all time. Let's go. What we got? Nice little XP boost. Dude, Rookity's leveling up like crazy, dog. Jeez, Rookity, he's not even doing anything. We're just branch poking out here, giving quick whoopings and all that. But we beat this trainer right here. Now we can actually keep moving along with this route, seeing if we see any new Pokemon. What is that? <gasps> what is this? Oh, it's a Galarian Zigzagoon. We're going to catch this bad boy. We're going to give him the quick catchings. Of course, I really just critical hit this thing. Are you serious? I critical hit it and we killed it. <laughs> that is hilarious, but we'll definitely find another one soon. What do you mean, dude? I hit it with a critical hit. That is just bonkers, dude. That is bonkers, but we're going to actually grab this Pokemon. What we got inside of it? Ooh, two little potions. I actually want to give a potion to my boy Grookey right here. Let's get it because he's been battling up. Let's go. Potions. We have 17 already? Dang. <laughs> We've just been collecting them, but there we go. My boy Rookie is already level 6. We chilling. But you actually want to level up your Pokemon a good little bit here. Let's see what this is. You actually want to level up your Pokemon a good little bit here. <gasps> a C-Dot! 
But like, like I'm saying, for the third time, we actually want to level up your Pokemon a good little bit because we're going to be battling Hop in a little bit after this. But we got ourselves a Seed out. We're going to actually catch this. I believe this might be Sword Exclusive. I know there's a good bunch that are uh, just Sword Exclusive. Why do I use that? It's not very effective. But we got a crit. Back to back crits. Are you serious? But look at our boy, C Dot over here. Get in that Pokeball. Boom. <laughs> let's go, dude. I'm having so much fun with this game already. Hype, hype, hype. All right, guys, let's keep making our way down this route right here. We're going to be training in a little bit. Can we get up here yet? I feel like we need something in order to get up here, but we're going to make our way. What's over here? Got a little Pokemon in there, guys. Oh, no, we can just make our way around this thing. Take a hop off this ledge right here. We got three Pokeballs and another. <gasps> oh, my God. There's another trainer. But look at this. I want one of these boys. Uh, is this a Choodle? Yo, let's go. A wild Choodle. I actually want one of these on my team. So we're going to be capturing it and using it on our team, boy. Let's get it. Level six Choodle. Level six. We're going to actually branch poke it up. This should be. This might do work on him. This might do work. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I just one hit at this thing. I should have known. I should know because I believe he's water and rock. So we just worked on him. But we're going to have to wait to get another Joodle now. Are you kidding me? Just whooped on this poor boy. Yeah, I want one of them on our team. So we're going to battle this trainer and go find another Joodle in a little bit. But dude, are you kidding me? Yeah, so right now I'm planning on having a Joodle and a, uh, what is it? A Ruka D right now for our starting three. Then we're going to level up. Oh, you got one. But dude, we merc on these things. We merc on these bad boys. Let's give it a quick weapon, dude. She only has one Pokemon. I was gonna say if you had two, I was gonna switch out to my Rookie D, get the Rookie D some action. Yeet. Stab. <laughs> Merc. Merc. But like I was saying, a lot of people pick Score Bunny right off the bat, and I feel like that's because the first gym is actually grass. So I think people just want the advantage and all that. See that? And the Emperor. I don't care about you two right now. I just have you for our Pokedex. Which is awesome, dude. I can't wait to fill up all the Pokemon in the Pokedex and get to that. But do we got any Choodles? Oh, what is this? We got a new Pokemon that's showing here. We're going to catch this thing. It's a Nickit. It's a little fox Pokemon. It's like the rip-off Volpix right here. Mmm, gave that Nickit that branch poke, dude. Gave him the branch poke. Get out of my face. We're going to catch him right here. Get him in our Pokedex. But I really want a Choodle. They turn into those big giant turtles. The Dreadnoughts, I think they're called. They're like snapping turtles. They're awesome. They're rock and water type. So, whoo. <gasps> Another one right here, dude. He spawned right here. My boy. <laughs> Look at his giant head, dude. He's an absolute unit for a head right here. Yeah. We're not going to risk the extra scratch. It hasn't been working good for us. Are we going to catch him or will this be our first escape? Nope. We got him. Let's go. Choodle was caught. I'm hyped. The boy's back. The boy's here. Dude, everyone's leveling up. Who just leveled up? Yamper and all that? But it's good. I don't really care for them. All I care about are these three right here. We're going to get Choodle inside of our Pokedex, and we're going to keep moving along. Right now, he's water, but when he evolves, he gets that rock type in him. So, that's nice. That's nice. It's always good to have that water, fire, and grass type in your party. But we're going to make our way down here towards this house that we have to go to and finish off with this last trainer right here. Get whooping. He said something about hop, but I didn't read it. Dude, I love this animation right here. I can't wait to see, like, what the battle with the champion looks like. Like, oh, what is this? A blip bug? A blip bug. Oh, my lord. What is this thing? A blip bug. I believe that is this thing. This thing might be a uh, shield exclusive only. I think it is. And we get C dot and he gets blip bug or shield gets blip bug. I'm not too sure. Guys, I was. Oh, my lord. Is that a bug move? And a crit? Are you serious? And dropped our. Special attack? Jeez! Get out of my face, dude. All right, let's get this scratch roll right here. Yeet. Take him out right here. I think we're going to give some a little bit of magic here. We're going to give him a little bit of time. So let's get into this. Let's go. Pokemon gain experience. Only 13. That stinks. Boo. We're going to give it to Choodle. Nah, we're going to give it to Rookie D right here. Because he's a little bit leveled up. We're going to switch out. Where's my boy Rookie D? He has Peck, Leer, Power Trip, and Hone Claws. But we're just going to be pecking him up right here because it's... Beginning of the game, you just whoop up, give him the quick weapons. But dude, look at my boy, dude. He's got some sick, like, feathers outside of his eyes and all that. It looks like he's wearing, like, a mask and all that. So I love it. I don't really like this, uh, what's it? What's this called? His, uh, ability on nerve. You can't really use berries with it. So that'll be more post game where I catch Pokemon with, uh, bigger and better abilities and all that good stuff. But it's fine. We're just going to be chilling with this peck. I believe Nick is just a dark type. I would think he was a fire and a dark type, but I believe he's just a dark type, even when you evolve him. 
Yeah, I did my Pokemon research. Don't worry. But our defense is falling. It's all good. My boy Rukides is going to get his first kill. Well, it's actually a girl. Sorry. His first kill on a Pokemon right here. Pecking it up. <laughs> Stab. And what are... I forget the differences between a boy Pokemon and girls Pokemon. It, Pokemon, if you do know, let me know in the comment section down below. That'd be nice. Ooh. That mean levels right here. That mean levels. Let's go. We defeated Youngster Benjamin. Youngster Benjamin right here. We beat him. He's giving us $420, dude. Stacking us this cash right here. There's a Chudor right here. We're actually going to give it the quick weapons, and we're going to train up here for a little bit. Ooh. I thought this was just shield exclusive. We were out here training, leveling up our Pokemon right here, but we found a Blip Bug right here. I'm down to catch one. I thought this one was, was shield exclusive. I guess not. Well, here we go. We're going to catch ourselves another one of these Pokemon right here. Just chilling. Let's catch this bad boy up. <gasps> oh, my Lord. Grookey almost went down. Grookey almost went down. So we're going to risk it for the biscuit right here. We're going to go for the catch. If we don't get the ca catch, Grookey's dead. And then we have to shut off the game and never play it again. <laughs> I always remember in the old Pokemon games, I always used to hold down A or like mash A and thinking it was giving it a better catch rate when it wasn't doing anything. You know, I was thinking the harder you hold it down, the better uh, chance you have of catching like legendaries and all that. But let's go. We catch ourselves this split bug right here. We're going to have to actually have to heal up Grookey right here. And we're just going to keep leveling up our Pokemon. After training up our Pokemon right here, we actually leveled them up a little bit. Grookey actually got to level 12. Our Rookie is at level 10 and our Trudel is still at level 6. He's like... Very close to going level 7. But our Grookey actually learned Razor Leaf, which I'm hyped for. But now we're actually just going to get moving over to this house right over here. And seeing what all, all the commotion is about. So they're talking about the new feature in this game, which is about Dynamax Pokemon and all that good stuff. That is like the new feature. It's kind of like the Mega for this game. Like Mega Pokemon, but it's Dynamax. You just make them huge and all that. And I'm not sure. I'm not like too sure about like all of it. I know you can do certain Pokemon, certain Pokemon but I don't know if you can do them all. But I guess we'll be finding that out after this cutscene. We're going to keep going along with this game. After talking about the Dynamax and all that stuff, our boy Hops has challenged us to yet another battle. And he said he's waiting outside. So we're just going to hop out here and give him another whoop. It's like this boy wants it again. He wants it again from jeans right here. Let's go, dude. What you want, fool? Let's go. I'm going to become the greatest Pokemon trainer there is. And to do that, I need to need that endorsement to take part in the gym challenge. Yo, dude, you're getting whooped. Like it's game over. Like, it's, it's game over. Like, he's done. I don't know what he's thinking. We just whooped on him before when he had two. It was 2v1. And now he wants to sauce one. I'm catching Pokemon leveling him up. He's done. We got a turtle, a bird, and a monkey. What more do you want? What more do you want? <laughs> Let's get it. Let's go. How many Pokemon does he have? I think he might have three at this time. Let's give it a quick peek. He does have three, so it's going to be a 3v3, but well, I have six in my party, but we're only going to be using three. We're going to be starting off. It's going to be a Wulu versus Grookey right here, but we're just going to give him the weapons with Grookey and then probably switch out maybe to my Rookity or my Chudel. Only level six. Do we double levels? Let's use our Razor Leaf. Let's see how this looks in this game. Let's check it out. Oh, 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 I'm... Merc, dude. Merc the boy, dude. We're going to one hit this Wulu. Probably one hit this Sobble, dude. Our Yamper. And our Chudo level up. I only care about the Chudo. Chudo level 7, baby. Learn a move or something. Oh, we learned Bite, dude. My uh, turtle learned Bite. It's about to send out Rookity. We're actually going to switch this out. And do we give Chudo a little bit of time? Yeah, we're going to show off Chudo. He has Water Gun, Bite, and Tackle. Watch this. Rookity's going to be like level 10. I'm going to be like, come on, man. <laughs> There's no way it's level 10. I thought these Pokemon levels were higher. But dude, we're just going to be murking on it. It's level 5, dude. Our Chudo's going to eat it up. Our Chudo's gonna eat it up, dude. Literally, with bite. Let's get it. Nyom. Nyom. He's gonna peck us? We're just water. That's fine. I only did four damage. Let's see how much you do. No boy. <laughs> Bit him up, dude. Give him that Merkin. Let's see how Water Gun looks, too. It's funny. This Rookity is faster than us. I guess uh, Chudo's a slow type. But I was looking at stats and stuff. The Dragon type for this place, because you know how like every uh, gen has a new dragon, like Garchomp, Dragonite, Tyranitar, and all that stuff. Well, Tyranitar's not a Dragonite. But, like, Salamence and all that. But, um, what's called? This one is, like, the fastest in the game. Its speed is unreal. It's called Dragapult, I believe. It looks phenomenal. He's probably a late game Pokemon to get. But let's go, dude. Chudel getting his first kill. I'm hyped. And now he's just going to send out that Salvo. And you guys know what we're going to do. We're just going to raise the leaf that up with our boy Grookey. Give him the quick Merkins. Right here. What you want? Salvo. Salvo, dude. See, like, dude, this battle is so easy. I remember, like, in, uh... 
what's called it like Pokemon Fire, Red, Leaf Green, all those old games and all that, they would pick the opposite and they would just counter your team hard. So that it was actually like a challenge versus your rival and all that. He said it'll be a close one. Boy, what do you mean it'll be a close one? My boys are working on you. I'm gonna one hit your Sobble right here with this Razor Leaf. I'm four levels ahead of it. Little boy. Little boy. Get out my face, dude. Get out my face right there. Well, look at you. Seems you've really learned your type matchups. Well, you just picked the wrong one off the bat. You should have picked the score, Bunny. Could have been a little tougher for us. But look at us. Everyone's gaining mean experience points from that. And two Pokemon that I don't really care about leveled up. It's not a big deal. We defeated Pokemon Trainer Hop. Give me some cash. You got anything for me? I'm just gonna rob you. 640. I like how you when you win, you're like, yeah, give me the money. It's mine. Get out of here. And I even got my Pokeball thrown perfect, too. Yeah, no, no, you didn't. You stink. <laughs> Let's go. I think he's gonna heal up our Pokemon real quick. Or they I think they heal up automatically. I'm not too sure. It doesn't really matter right here. We're gonna be heading back to the town and actually heading towards the wild area, which is awesome. What's he giving us? A letter of endorsement, which is awesome. He's going to give us an endorsement letter so we can use later. It's a letter of recommendation that you'll need in order to participate in gym challenges. Wow. Nice, 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 nice. But well, this is pretty much the end of the beginning and all that. We're, we're about to start venturing off in our own and all that. So we're just going to head back to the town and all that. Grab a few items and then head towards the wild area, which is awesome. All right, Jeans, you and me are going to train up against one another and aim for the champions title. Absolutely, dude. That is exactly what we're going to do. Hence, every other Pokemon game. What's he doing? Oh, what is that? What is that? The shooting star? Bro, I want one. There's two. There's two. Give me one. What is it? He picked them both up, that hunk of junk. Jeans, would you look at this? They're wishing stars. Since there are two of them, you should take one yourself. All right, let's see. You obtain a wishing star. Put it in her items. A stone found in the Galar region with a mysterious power that says your dreams to come true if you find one. Oh, man, they're one of these lame things. <laughs> He's like, your dream's gonna come true. Of course they're gonna come true. I'll be whooping in this game. <laughs> After that cutscene, we actually obtain a Dynamax spam. Now we can actually Dynamax Pokemon, which is awesome. But we're gonna head around this corner right here. Because right in this corner right here, we got ourselves our first TM. We got Payback. So TMs actually come in those green Pokeballs and all that. So you can know what Pokeballs are TMs and what other ones are just items and all that. But yeah, dude, we got TMs in this game. They actually got a new um, TM. I forget what they're called, but they're one-use TMs like the old times. The old times you used to get a TM, and then you would just, what's it called? You can only use it once, but now you can just use them multiple times like their HMs and all that. What are you doing looking at this, my choodle, dude? Get out, of, get out of here, dude. I caught them all already. What did you tell me? Be sure to catch them. Get out of my face, little boy. I'm here to become the Pokemon champion. Pokemans! Yeah, we're going to head back to the Wedgehurst station and actually... Make our way back to the town and get going to the, what's it called? The wild area. The big wild area that you see in like the, uh, the what's it called? What is it, what is it even called? The previews or the, the trailer, that's what it is. I'm trying to think. We saw it in the trailer, the big wild area that you can run around and do whatever you want in it. It's awesome. Look at this choodle just in the middle of the road. <laughs> cracking me up. He's cracking me up. But we're just going to keep moving along here. Making our way back to Wedgehurst. Dude, Choodles are awesome, dude. I'm actually glad I got one on my team. They're hilarious <laughs> with their big head and all that. Let's go up these stairs right here. We're just going to make our way down. Um, they actually healed up our Pokemon beforehand, so we don't even have to do anything. We're just going to head, head straight to that station right here. Let's go. Come on, Jeans. You'll never beat me to the station at that pace. I'm right on your tail, and you just ran in front of me. So, of course you're going to beat me, you little punk. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get it, dude. <laughs> Yo, dude, I am so hyped and ready to go to this wild area, man. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. Let's go. He chills here. So out with the jeans. How many did you catch? All of them, dog. <laughs> We're catching them all here, dude. Oh, and he gives us TM40, which is swift, which is nice. We could actually probably put that on a Rookity or something. Maybe he can take it. Probably not. I don't know. But we'll maybe try and give people TMs later. But it's all good. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. As in next episode, we're going to be hopping on the train station, exploring the wild area, and heading towards our first gym. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.